to find and edit an email automation series that you've already created, we're first going to log into Constant Contact. Then we're going to navigate to Campaigns in the top menu. And then on the left-hand side, we're going to look for Campaign Type Automation. And so all of our automated email series should be underneath this campaign type automation. The relevant landing pages that we set up are most likely underneath campaign type and landing pages. So for the email series itself, we're going to click on automation. You're going to look for the title of the email series that you created, and you should be naming these really obvious things, not only for yourself, but your fellow or even future staff members. We're going to click on the name of the email series, and then we're going to navigate to the email in this series that we want to edit. These are in chronological order of when they would be received. So we can see this first one is the one that would be sent immediately. This is the one that gets sent a week after, etc. So let's say that we're going to edit this email. We're going to just find the specific email, click on the three dots over here and click on edit email. It's going to warn us that these edits are on a live active email series. And we're going to say, yes, we know. And now we can make any necessary edits that we need to. Whenever you're done with your edits, you would just hit continue. When you try to do that, it's saying, hey, this again is going to edit a live email. And we're just like, yep, we know. And that's actually saved. But then we also just like to be sure because technology can change and we will click save and exit. So that's how we might change something very small, like a logo, our annual sponsors, any new yearly paperwork that always changes year to year. You can also edit the delivery settings if you would like to. And you can also copy the series if you want to start over. But if you copy the series, you will lose anybody that's in the middle of your queue. So let's say there's somebody that's, you know, right here in the middle where they've gotten some emails, but not all of them. Um, you, Because you wouldn't want to resend these same series, most likely, to somebody who's already gotten it. So I would personally, I would prefer to wait until that's been finalized, or I would just create a new list um, for new subscribers to get to the new series if you're making some really big changes. We're going to go back to campaigns, campaign type, and landing pages. As I said, this is where most of your landing pages for your lead magnets are most likely going to be. For your classic landing pages or embedded forms, it's going to be underneath sign up forms. Very similarly, we're going to click on the name of the landing page. And again, these should be very obvious to anybody that could be new to your account. And then we're just going to click on the three dots on the top right hand corner and click on edit. And here we can change out any words, any logos, colors. We can even change the list that the email registrants are being sent to. And then once we hit publish changes, those changes are going to be live on that landing page and therefore our website that's sending people to that page.